All right, welcome uh, to this loopback audio tutorial for the students of mine who are Mac users. And uh, I suggest using loopback to have a way to virtually route any audio signals to any other spot in your computer so that you can take the sound from your DAW and send it into Zoom or whatever it else, whatever else we might be using for our lessons. So of course, download Loopback. Uh, the link should be provided here in the video. Get it installed on your computer and open it up. And when you open it up, it's going to look blank. Uh, I have it set up a little bit here already just so that you can actually hear my voice through this tutorial. Um, and what I'm gonna do is go through the features and the process of setting it up so that you can capture the audio from your DAW and send it into any, well, to send it anywhere you'd like, but um, Zoom, uh, we'll be using Zoom for our lessons for now. All right, so you get it open. You see we have these different columns here. All the way on the left, we have loopback audio. So it's on, uh, it's working, and you can see what source, what your audio source is uh, receiving a signal here. So that's just from my microphone. Uh, this column here is going to be our audio sources. You can see I have this Orion Thunderbolt 3 already open and running on this side. So this is my audio interface for my composition uh, rig here. And we can see these virtual cables connected to the output channels. So this is the actual loopback output. And then I also have some virtual cables connected here to my monitoring device so that I can hear myself. All right, so your particular setup will look different uh, depending on what hardware and software you're going to be using. Um, and you can see here on this Orion, again, that's my audio interface, you can see the signal pinging on channel three. So I have my microphone connected to my preamp, which is connected to my interface on channel three. And you can also see some signal pinging here. Uh, that's just because of some additional routing that I have set up on my system. But if I wanted to take any one of these channels, you can see this has 32 channels, um, and connect it to loopback audio, what I would do is just take the channel I want, let's say channel six, grab that there, and you see if I click and drag, I get a virtual cable and I can connect it there to, this is the loopback, um, the loopback engine right there. So I do not want to connect channel, channel six, so I'm not going to connect that cable. All right, so now we're going to set up loopback so we can hear signal from, um, from logic. So it's important that you have your DAW open. Again, in this case, it's logic. So now I'm going to add a source, select application. This is what's open right now. So Logic Pro, click it, and it opens up. And these two channels here are the default output channels for Logic. If I set up my Logic session so I have multiple outputs, more than just a stereo pair, then those will actually show up here in loopback as well. And sometimes I do that if I'm doing big mixes I want to have multiple outputs to send some of the signal to some of my outboard gear. But for right now, it's defaulted to just the left and right stereo channels. And it automatically will connect um, these virtual cables to the output, which again is loopback. So this is everything that's going into loopback right here. And then just for my own convenience, I have it set up to monitor to my monitoring device. All right. Um, so it should work if I play something in Logic here. Yeah, it looks like it's working just fine. So then what I would do is select Loopback as my audio source in Zoom. So right now Loopback is listening to whatever I have it selected for in this left channel in my sources. Whatever I have selected is going into Loopback and also out through my monitoring devices. Um, so I would just select this output um, in my Zoom meeting, and that's how you are able to hear whatever's going on in Logic. And just so I can show you, 
there are other applications. You can pretty much take any application that you have available on your computer, capture that sound um, in loopback, and send it anywhere you want it to go. All right, so I actually had this set up for my kids to play a video game, and we were capturing the sound from that video game in loopback as well. So it's important um, to make sure that everything is on that you want to be listening to. So here, uh, Logic, we hear the sound from Logic. If I turn that off, I can hear it because it's routed through my system, but you won't be able to hear it uh, on your side. So if I turn that back on, all right, you, you can hear Logic there. All right, so I think that pretty much sums up the basics. Um, if you do need to delete or rearrange things, you would select the source, and then you can go in here and delete it, and you see it disappears. Um, if you do need to create other additional channels, you can do that by hitting the plus, right? And so you see I get separate loopback channels. Uh, I don't know exactly how many you can make, but probably a lot. And if you wanted to get... Uh, a little more sophisticated and make additional monitoring devices. So if you wanted someone else to be hearing what you're hearing, maybe somewhere else, you can select over here for monitoring into different, um, different devices. So you see I have my Mac Mini speakers. I could listen to it on my Mac Mini. Whatever's going through loopback, I can send it to that as well, all right, or these other devices that I have here. Some of them are virtual. Some of them are hardware. So I think that covers it. Uh, I have noticed one particular issue uh, with loopback that when I am starting my DAW, when I'm starting Logic, uh, I, if I'm going to be working just for my own projects, I do like to have loopback off. So I would click this button. If I do that, you're not going to hear me, but let me do that just to demonstrate. So if I'm working on my own project, I'm going to turn loopback off like this. Oh, it won't let me do it because I'm recording. <laughs> so, but if I were going to be working um, on Logic just for a project, I would definitely want to turn loopback off. And then when I go to start our lessons, I always turn loopback on. Oh, one more thing. So, um, of course, this is just one microphone, so it's a mono signal. I have channel three here, that's my microphone. Notice that I have two cables coming out of channel three so that. Um, you don't just hear the microphone on one side, right? So if I were, let's say if I had a microphone on channel six here, I would make one cable to the left side and coming out of channel six, I would make one cable to the right side. Otherwise you'll just hear a mono signal coming out of one channel, which can be a bit annoying. So uh, here we are, I've got Zoom open. And I'm going to go over here on the left. Now, again, this is for Mac users uh, on Windows. This might be, this might look different. So I'm going to go over here on the microphone and hit that up arrow to open this menu. And I can select a microphone. Really, it's selecting an audio source. And you can see right there, loopback audio is running and it's available as an audio source. So I would just make sure that I have that selected. And I think that's going to be it. Yeah. So that covers loopback and also getting loopback to be selected in Zoom for our Zoom meetings.